Kitchen hygiene during food preparation in a kitchen is essential to everyone's health. Whether it is at home, a commercial kitchen, catering or a factory, kitchen hygiene forms the basis for any food safety systems. What are the kitchen hygiene golden rules? Number 1. Washing your hands. This is Kitchen 101. Keeping your hands clean and germ-free is at the top of kitchen hygiene rules list. It's easy for bacteria to be transferred from raw foods to your hands to everywhere else in the kitchen. So wash your hands throughout food prep and before and after cooking. This also includes personal hygiene, meaning keeping fingernails short and clean, clean and appropriate uniforms and fitness for work. Number 2. Cook foods completely. One of the most important kitchen hygiene rules is to ensure that food is cooked properly. If undercooked, harmful bacteria could lead to food poisoning. High temperatures such as 70 plus degrees Celsius are the best way to kill harmful bacteria such as E. coli, Salmonella and Listeria monocytogenes. Keeping foods above 60 degrees during serving is also a legal requirement. Number 3. Safe Food Storage It is absolutely vital to store foods properly to keep it safe from harmful bacteria, chemicals and objects falling into the food. In other words, preventing cross-contamination. This effectively means keeping raw foods away from foods that are ready to eat. Make sure leftovers or open food packets are covered with cling film or sealed in a plastic container. Keep your fridge tidy and dispose of any items that are out of date. You'll need to store the various food groups in different areas. This means you will need sealable containers to keep dry goods in a cupboard or a shelf, such as pasta, rice and flour, a fridge to keep your food as fresh for as long as possible, and a freezer to keep your foods for longer periods of time. Number 4. Clean as you go. Keeping kitchen countertops and food equipment clean after use is one of the easiest and most essential basic kitchen hygiene rules. You'll not only be keeping things clean and tidy, you'll be stopping the spread of bacteria. Using the correct chemicals here is also essential. Remember, we cannot see bacteria. Regular cleaning and sanitizing will ensure a clean and germ-free environment. Number 5. Kitchen hygiene rules don't cross-contaminate. If you've ever had food poisoning, you'll understand why avoiding cross-contamination is high on the list of basic hygiene rules. Use different cutting boards for preparing fish, meat, vegetables, dairy or bread. Different color boards can help with this. And never prepare or keep ready-to-eat foods near or next to raw meats and vegetables. Number 6. Keeping your cutting boards clean after use. Bits of food left on the cutting board will soon breed bacteria. So scrubbing down your board immediately after use is vital to stop them from spreading. Quick, easy and essential. Cleaning and sanitizing cutting boards is one of the most essential kitchen hygiene rules. Number 7. Keep the fridge clean. Ensuring your fridge is clean is one of the top 10 kitchen hygiene rules and so for good reason. Left alone, spills and spoiled food will spread bacteria to everything else. So clean out the fridge and dispose of expired food on a weekly basis. Number 8. Scrub your basins daily. Your wash and rinse basins are used regularly throughout the day. So it will become grimy and covered in bacteria quickly if it's not kept clean. Again, this is one of those kitchen hygiene rules that doesn't take much time. But that is well worth doing. Just give your sink a quick scrub with a scourer and a spritz of cleaner and sanitizer once a day. Number 9. Stop grease in its tracks. Greasy surfaces or pots and pans are able to prevent proper sanitizing from taking place. Bacteria are able to hide behind the greasy areas, allowing them to survive. Always clean with a clean cloth and multi-purpose cleaner to remove greasy layer before using a suitable sanitizer. Number 10. Bin Basics Regularly changing your bin is a key aspect of kitchen hygiene. Old food in a bin will soon decompose and bacteria will start to grow, not to mention the bad odors and on occasion the little white squirmy maggots. Food Handlers Training By law, 
food business operators must ensure that food handlers receive the appropriate training in kitchen hygiene and food safety, which is in line with the areas they will work in and will enable them to handle food in the safest way. The required training includes basic food handlers training, person in charge food safety training, chemical training, regular hygiene audits. Frequent visits by our hygiene consultants will help you stay on top of your kitchen's hygiene and food safety procedures. We are able to help you maintain your hygiene levels or help you build a sustainable food safety system. Get in touch with us to book an appointment.